life in the classroom should be a little bit better for students of three schools in St. David and St. George's. Last week, we told you about rehabilitation work, which has improved comfort levels for students and faculty members of several schools in St. Andrew. This week, Annette Moore visits the Grenada Boys Secondary, the St. David's Catholic Secondary, and the South St. George Government Schools, and reports on the impact of refurbishment work there. Several schools in St. George experienced difficulties due to various infrastructural issues prior to the new school term in September 2015. Moving quickly to find solutions, the government of Grenada, along with stakeholders such as the OPEC Fund for International Development, completed upgrades valued at more than $8.3 million. You know, one of the biggest issues we had was the leaking of the roof. Whenever it rained, we had to find other places to move some classes. Then we had an issue with the windows. Some of them were missing. Uh, again, with the hurricane, the eve was cut short, so all of this facilitated you know, rain coming into the classrooms. Some of our columns, they were opening up, and then some of the classes, the ceiling, the concrete was up. Uh, even off. Much work wasn't done last time. That kept us back a bit. The Catholic Church Board and the Government of Grenada partnered to ensure that the project was a success. The refurbishment was done in record time by the local construction firm Shelter Solutions during the summer vacation. Sadly, very happy to get that new roof. As you see, it's raining now. We would have had to be out there trying to relocate our students. But now we, everybody's comfortable. Um, the railings at the back, that was a no entrance zone. Now they can go there, they can study there, some can eat their lunch and enjoy the general ambience of, of the area. So that's a, that's a big plus. The plumbing area again, no more water is um, going downstairs, so the teachers are more comfortable. So I think there was a sense of you know, hope, you know, pride, and then, yes, we can move forward and at least work together to achieve our goals and objectives. The ceilings are not falling, there's no falling wall. You can see a piece of steel projecting outside. In other words, the students and the teachers feel more relaxed now, you know. Happy to see the school paint, new walls, new colors. And it was very exciting for me. I feel welcome again. I feel like a farm one child again. It's better, they have better louvers, they have lights and stuff in the class. I would just like to take this opportunity to thank once again the church and the government for the necessary collaboration that made this refurbishment plan a success. Also, it's, it's upon us now to, and, and the students and the community also to ensure that we try our best to maintain these facilities. Because you know, Hurricane Iva namely um, struck. Um, we had the fire of 1993 that destroyed the administration block um, and principal's office con contained therein as well. So since then, admin block had to utilize any space that could be found on the company. We had to contend with small spaces to operate from limited storage areas. Because the boys, most of them, choose to do building technology. But yet, we do not have the space to work and to be efficient in, um, in these classrooms. The massive addition of the new administrative and technical wing to the Grenada Boys Secondary School was the most costly of the projects. At the level of government and the Ministry of Education, we welcome the commissioning of these two blocks, the technical block, and the administrative block, funded by the OPEC Fund for International Development, OPED, at an estimated cost of over $7.9 million. But now that we have new facilities, staff more comfortable, in fact, the admin building, now with house principal, vice principal, general office, you know, as well as staff room and on the bottom floor, as we said, conference room. 
lunchroom counselors and so on, you know? But with the new um, administration block, we have our own room, the room for photocopying, the room for this. There's an extra computer that teachers can use, so enough space to have, you know, proper functioning. The upstairs section of the technical building has facilities for food and nutrition, home management and clothing and textiles. This allows students access to three new subject areas. When our boys go to do culinary, um, science at times, you see that's with cooking and so on, they always complain the PVC boys have an advantage over them. I think I might want to consider food and nutrition because I think even though I may not go into that field. It would be a useful field to have just in case I may drop back on it or drop back on a subject close to it. And clothing and textiles is a subject that is not really widely done in Grenada. For there isn't much really tailor shops and so around. So although I don't really pursue the field I I I wanted to, I can maybe fall into that if anything fails. Well, um, it couldn't come in a better time because we see the direction in which you know the world is going. But I can see the enthusiasm in the boys as they come. They're very excited and so um, I'm looking forward to continue to motivate them. We're on the other side of, of the school, and which is the seaside, so now we have a lot of breeze coming in. So it's cooler and it's, it's easier to, to concentrate in that building. The construction was done over a 12-month period beginning in April 2014, changing the landscape of GBSS from what it once was 22 years ago. We are fully grounded and we are ready for another level of An entire new flooring and partitions were constructed at the kindergarten section of the South St. George Government School. The wooden building attached to our school, which is the infant department, was in a dilapidated condition. The flooring was just rotted. Our air education officer in person of Ms. Bonaparte, she realized that we are going to enter the school again in September with the same problem. And so she took it upon herself, the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Works, and they together worked at putting that building back for us again. And so the last week in the vacation, they came in and they changed the floor. All the boards in the floor were changed. They also changed the partitions. Parents came, helped us clean it up. We decorated again. And the infants returned the third week of the, of the school term into a refurbished, restored, clean environment. Future plans are in place to construct a new school for the St. David's Catholic Secondary School at an estimated cost of $20 million. Continue to stay tuned as we bring you more stories on school upgrades across the nation. For State of Affairs, I'm Annette Moore.